So I've been doing videos on my Arcade 1UP machine and how it runs Android and a few things on how you can modify it and there's a lot you can do with it and there's a big community around modding the software. But now it's time to get serious on modding the hardware. I'm yanking out the Android board, I'm going to yank out all the controls, put in some nice light up controls uh, and also just plug it into a, uh, in this case a Raspberry Pi, but set it up with a driver board that I can plug any computer into that device. So in the future I can grab any laptop or upgrade the machine just by plugging in the, the controller through USB and HDMI to the board so at any time I can upgrade the machine and at this point I can get you know RetroPie running on there with all my games. So I have actually already did this the other day and now this is the video on the process so enjoy. going smoothly until I went to unscrew the joysticks here and although I have all the screws out as far as I can tell I think they're glued on so I'm gonna have to try to pry them off well, let's give it a try so as you can see there was a little bit of glue on there came off pretty easy I'll show you how I did it on the second one here so I have this little scraper here that I use for mudding walls and uh, I just kind of put it under the corner here gently and just tap in it and this one did uh, no damage. The other one, a little bit of damage, but it's on the inside of the board, so not a big deal. So here's what's left of my old arcade. Just the controller board with uh, the wires. These buttons are nice. They unscrew, unlike the other ones that are cheap and just kind of pop in and out. So, uh, yeah, just going to unscrew these from here, put them in there. Uh, I'm assuming they're the same size holes. I hope they are. Uh, and they got the new boards that just will recognize it to whatever computer I plug it in to as a default uh, game controller. Here we go. Drop it in there. And put the little screw on there. Perfect. Now I'm going to have light up buttons. Much better than what came with the cabinet. Okay, so I got the buttons in. Uh, I gave away my player, two player button a while ago, so I just put a coin button in there. And uh, for the live button, I added a green button that I can use that to maybe exit out of games. Um, so again, I have plenty of these buttons in different colors that light up, which is great. With my original arcade cabinet, I spent a lot of money on a heavy duty controller. People would just whack that thing like crazy. I was always worried they were going to break it. With these, I, I don't have to worry. I got extra parts. I know how to fix it. I know how to wire it up. And that's the great thing about doing things yourself. Um, so yeah, I need to put the joysticks in now. The important thing with the joysticks is to put them in the proper way, not sideways or upside down. Again, in the games you're probably going to remap everything, but it's just nice to have them put in the proper way uh, so that up is up, even though you can remap it for most systems. Uh, so yeah, and then there's the on-off switches here and the volume switches. I might try to splice those wires into the controller board of this to control certain things. Um, I mean, I've always drill them out and put buttons there, but uh, then I'd have to drill out the acrylic and I don't want to do that. I might add some extra buttons for saving state under the controller. We'll, we'll have a look at that in a minute. Okay, I got the buttons in, joysticks in, let's wire it all up.
controller board I bought on Amazon for this arcade unit. Uh, this particular model I'll link to in the description. It should work for most of these cabinets, but there are a few different options. So do the research if you have one of these arcade one-up cabinets. Make sure you're getting the right one. So after unhooking the computer that came inside the arcade, which is a small single board Android device, the monitor that is built into the arcade has two wires that are coming out of it. One for power and another ribbon cable uh, that will hook into this board. Well, both the power and the ribbon cable hook into this. After that, you have options of VGA, HDMI, and DVI to hook into this and it will display on the screen there. This is a board that comes off fit for things like rotating the screen and bringing up a menu just like you would have buttons on a TV. There's also an audio in and an audio out, so I can plug the audio in if I'm using analog audio, although it also accepts audio in from the HDMI. And then it has an output that should be able to go to the speakers of this. Hopefully it puts out enough power that it sounds de decent. And then there's also a power plug that came with it to power this device, which also powers the monitor. So I'm going to put this in, hook it up, and see if everything works. So for right now, I ran the USB cables and the HDMI cable out of the unit, and I have the Raspberry Pi behind the arcade, just because I know I'm gonna be messing with it a lot at first, but eventually it will go inside, and uh, let's see it running. Well, we're up, we're running. Uh, so, two things, I need to get a power supply for the marquee, because the uh, driver board didn't have power out for that but I'm sure it's just as simple as, I might even have a power plug in my garage that works. Also, the volume coming out of the speakers is very low, even though I have the volume up all the way, so I might just replace those speakers or get an amplifier for them. But as far as the games go, uh, it took me a few minutes to configure the controllers, uh, but now I can go in and I can play something like Final Fight, so I can get in, I can play any game that I want. Uh, I have it set up since there's no uh, free game mode, I just set the start buttons to also be the coin buttons, so anytime you hit player one or player two, it automatically puts in a coin for you. And uh, I still need to configure the buttons underneath so that there'll be a save state and load state. Uh, and they're under there, so it'll be easy for my kids when I call them for lunch or to do something that they can quickly just hit a button to save and then later on they can come back and load up their games from where they were. Uh, so yeah, I have nicer joysticks, the light up buttons, now all I have to do is power the marquee and also get the speaker volume up a little bit. But uh, yeah, simple mod. I did use a Raspberry Pi for this, but only because I already had a Raspberry Pi. I, lots of people use Raspberry Pis for projects like this. I highly recommend uh, going a different route, especially right now with the price of Raspberry Pi shooting up. If I didn't already have a Raspberry Pi, you can get real nice think pads. They're just a couple years old for like, uh, between 100 and 150 bucks that are way more powerful than a Raspberry Pi. They have the HDMI out, they have batteries built in, so they have battery backups basically built into them. And uh, yeah, they'll just be much more powerful than a Raspberry Pi. But I went with a Raspberry Pi since I had one laying here from my old arcade cabinet. And uh, as I work on this, I will let you know of any updates. Thanks for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. As always, have a great day.